In this video, I'll show you how to use the freeze panes feature of the Microsoft Excel program. So you see that I have a spreadsheet here that I've done up in Excel. And what it does is it has my students on the left hand side. Uh, this is not a real Excel document. These aren't my real marks, obviously. Uh, but it has the student list on the left hand side. And then everything to the right hand side of the students names are the different quizzes and assignments and tests that count for their overall grade. But you'll notice as you scan from left to right, you won't actually be able to see their final mark by which student uh, you need to know. So what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning. I'm going to select column A or the first column here. And you see it's highlighted that column with all the students' names. I'm then going to go up to the View tab in the Excel toolbar and go to Freeze Panes. Select Freeze Panes, and that will bring a drop-down menu where you can freeze the panes that you've selected. You can freeze the top row of the spreadsheet, or you can freeze the first column. And for this example, I'm going to select Freeze First Column. Once I do that, it allows me to scroll back and forth and seeing what the students are and which row corresponds to each student uh, throughout the entire time I'm looking at the spreadsheet. So if I select and scroll from left to right, you'll notice that if I'm looking at Mark, okay, well, Mark's name stays up there as it's the first column, and I know that Mark had an 84.8. If I'm looking at Something like Eric's mark, he had an 83.6. And for example, the last here is Jamal. Jamal had a 79.2 in this case. So it's nice as I'm scrolling back and forth from left to right, I can always compare the student to the actual mark that they got on the quiz or the assignment or discussion. So that really helps uh, save some time rather than having to go back and forth between your Excel spreadsheet left and right sides. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.